Ladies and gents, this is part two of the video you may have seen before called How to Induce a Lucid Dream in Nine Seconds. Now, I made this video about a year ago and it got a pretty big response. It got a few, almost two million views, right? And there are a lot of questions and comments in this video which I'd like to explain and answer now. Okay, so I know this has been a bit of a late response, but this is my response to all of the comments and questions. First of all, thank you very much for the support, the comments, the likes, and uh, all the great feedback you guys have given me for that video. It's really appreciated. So firstly, I'm just going to quickly go over the technique and how it works, because I don't think I was that clear before. Um, I was fairly inexperienced with making videos, and I just didn't explain it as well as I'd like to have done. So the technique is the finger-induced lucid dreaming technique, the filed. And I'm going to really quickly run over how it works. So you do your reality checks throughout the day, testing whether you're awake. You write your dreams down every morning. But then on top of that, you're going to do this technique called the finger-induced lucid dream where you just almost move your fingers, but you don't quite move them. You, you get to the stage where you're just about to move them and you think about moving them, but your muscles don't actually move. And the idea is that you do this, you do that in the early morning after you've had six hours of deep sleep already. So you go to sleep, set your alarm to go off for six hours after you've gone to sleep, okay? And then when you wake up, when your alarm goes off, you can move to turn your alarm off. You, you turn your alarm off, hopefully it's a relaxing sound so it doesn't like panic you into being awake. You turn it off and then you lay there with your eyes closed, motionless. You don't move any muscles. Then you do the finger-induced lucid dream technique. You just gently pretend, almost like you're pretending to move your fingers. And the only reason you're doing this is so that your mind is focused on the movement or on your intention to move your fingers. But your body then in, enters sleep paralysis really quickly. All right, and that's the idea. And so it's just to distract you while your body enters sleep paralysis, because a lot of people have difficulty because they they get panicked or they think about the sleep paralysis too much. They try and experience it. They try and feel everything that happens during sleep paralysis. When really you just need to relax and let it happen, because otherwise you'll never enter a lucid dream. You'll just be panicked and trying to focus on the sleep paralysis, which is just a stepping stone to having the lucid dream in the first place. So you need to ignore it. You need to just let it happen. The fastest and easiest way of doing that is just to focus on something else. In this case, moving your fingers or the intention, right? The intention or thought of moving your fingers. You're not actually moving them. It's just you just need something to distract you while you enter sleep paralysis. And that's all the technique is, guys. That's how it works. It does work really fast. Um, and it does, when you do it, it does work in about nine seconds, right? But there was a lot of confusion because you guys, a lot of you said, well, the video was six minutes long. Why is there a six minute video to explain a nine second technique? Well, because the technique when you do it, takes nine seconds to induce a lucid dream. But in order for me to explain the technique, it's gonna take me longer. You know, I can't explain a full on technique and what you need to do step by step in nine seconds. That would be crazy. I'd be talking so fast that you wouldn't understand me. So hopefully that answers that. Now, just some little tips and bonuses I'd like to add to this technique. It's a great technique in itself and it does work very well. However, there are some problems with it. Number one, you need to meditate every day. If you don't meditate, lucid dreaming in general is going to be much harder to do, right? It's all about being self-aware and aware of yourself. If you don't meditate, then it's like you're trying to... <clears throat> excuse me. It's just making it difficult for yourself, right? You need to meditate in the same way that you'd need to drink water if you ran a marathon. It just You can do it without, but it just is much harder. And it's the same with this. Meditation makes lucid dreaming much easier to do. And it's the same with getting enough sleep, getting enough quality sleep, and just being in tune with your circadian rhythm, waking up when the sun rises, going to bed when the sun goes down. Obviously, you can't go down, you can't go to bed like the second the sun goes down because we've got stuff to do, right? Civilization has evolved to the point where we need to keep ourselves awake in the evenings with lights, TVs, screens. We have work to do, things to watch, right? But then at least an hour before you go to bed, try and turn off all screens. So that the blue light doesn't enter your eyes and you can sleep better. You'll be able to sleep faster, you'll be asleep, you'll be asleep much quicker and in a deeper state than if you just watch TV right until the second your eyes close and you go to bed. Right? So do that. Meditate every day. Turn off screens an hour before bed. Be in tune with your circadian rhythm. Get exercise during the day. These are basic things, guys, right? But we're just often so busy, so wrapped up in life that we don't think about the essentials. Drink enough water get enough sleep, eat the right foods, exercise. These things seem so basic when I explain them to you, right? 
but most of us, myself included in the past, you forget. Life gets in the way. So try and focus on that if you're worried about lucid dreaming and if you are struggling to lucid dream. And that's it, guys. This is almost a six minute video as well, but I just wanted to answer a few questions, explain things. And this is like, I guess you could say this is part two for how to induce a lucid dream in nine seconds. Inducing a lucid dream in nine seconds, part two, lesson two, okay? So go ahead and leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.